Hi Bridget, thank you for joining us at MBDA's Medweek Media Center. Great, thank you for having me, this is exciting. Tell us about the Small Business Administration and what y'all's uh, diversity and small business utilization efforts are. Well, SBA has two roles. One is, as a federal agency, we purchase supplies and goods, and so we want to make sure that we uh, reach out to small businesses, minority-owned businesses, and make sure that they get an opportunity to bid on um, federal contracts. Secondly, our mission is to help small businesses, and we have a very special focus on minority women-owned firms, and so our whole focus is to help small businesses, whether it's access to credit, contracting, or counseling. So it's been part of our mission since its inception, and so being here is just a natural part of what we do every day, but it gives us a much better venue to do that. How long have you all been aligned with MedWeek activities? Uh, you know, I've been with the agency 22 years, and as long as I've been around, we've been, we've been in concert with the Department of Commerce hand in hand in helping small businesses, and this is one critical element of that. So it's safe to say we'll keep on continuing to see uh, SBA at all the MedWeek events? SBA is committed to being here, absolutely. I heard you uh, earlier mentioning about the historical significance, and I thought it was really interesting Will you share that with us? Absolutely. You know, being part of Medweek is very important, but tomorrow is the 47th anniversary of Dr. Martin Luther King's speech. And um, that speech was part of March on Washington for Jobs and Freedom. And I think it's compelling that Dr. Martin Luther King recognized how important jobs and freedom, they go hand in hand. And I think that entrepreneurship is one way that we can, um, as he said, quote into the vault of opportunity that this country has. And MedWeek is, is one way to create an environment where small businesses, minority owned businesses, can get the information they need, network with other businesses, and really take full advantage and tap into that vault of opportunity that Dr. King so eloquently described. Oh, that is great. Well, we hear a lot of people talking about uh, opportunity and we hear a lot of people talking about, um, you know, just resources and building, but uh, the other buzzword we've kind of heard a lot here lately is uh, social media. So t tell us your takes on social media. I, I am a huge proponent of small businesses utilizing social media. One, it's free. Two, everybody is, is tapping into it, and so to get the word out efficiently, effectively, real-time, social media is really the avenue to, to, uh, to utilize. SBA, we started. We have a Facebook and we're on Twitter. Today I, I uh, tweeted about MedWeek, about uh, a personal hero, uh, Jeanette Brown winning the Leadership Award here. She's worked at SBA, so I tweeted that and people were thrilled to hear about that. So it's a great easy way for small businesses to get the word out about their products and services. Oh great, that's exactly what I wanted to hear. We uh, too are big advocates of social media and we hope that when uh, we send you this video you will uh, post about it and uh, link it to your Facebook page. I absolutely will. <laughs> that's great. Well thank you so much for stopping by. Well, thank uh, you for having thank me. Thank you for uh, on behalf of all the attendees for SBA being such a big advocate and being a sponsor of, uh, of Medweek's event. That's really important. I am a, a SBA a recipient um, myself so I really appreciate everything you've done. Fantastic. Well, we're pleased to do it. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Bye-bye.